Previously, I made a video on mental math tricks, and it turned out to be a huge success. You all loved it so much that many of you asked for a part two, and here I am ready to share even more powerful math tricks to make your calculations lightning fast. Before we begin, can you tell me in seven seconds what will be the value of 46 times 68? I think 99% of you were not able to solve it, right? But after watching this video, and with a bit of practice, that will not be the case. So, grab your pen and paper and get ready for the fun ride. Trick number one, quick division by five. I know we can do the same using the long division method taught in school, but that will be so lengthy and time consuming. But using our trick, Whenever you need to divide a number by 5, but the number is not super friendly like this, we just need to do two simple steps. As a first step, just double the number 234, which is easy to do. 4 becomes 8, 3 becomes 6, and 2 becomes 4. Now, just put a decimal number before the last digit, and we are done. The answer is 46.8. Easy, right? Let us consider one more example. 7, 6, 4, 3 divided by 5. First, double the number, such that 3 becomes 6, 4 becomes 8, 6 becomes 12. So write 2 here and carry 1 here. Now 7 becomes 14 and add this one to make it 15. Now just put a decimal number before the last digit and we are done. The answer is 1528.6. That was faster than a light. Now quickly tell me in the comments what will be the value of this division. Okay, ready for the next trick? Trick number two, add large numbers using rounding. For the first example, let's add 497 and 368. Start by rounding 497 up to 500, since it's close to that. After that, add both of them to get 868. Now, since you rounded up this number by 3, subtract 3 from 868 and you get 865. That's your final answer. See lightning fast. For the second example, add 643 and 189. Round 643 down to 650 and write minus 7 here. Then round 189 as 200 and their difference is negative 11. So write minus 11 here. Add them together to get 850. Now quickly subtract 11 from it to get 839 and then subtract 7 to get 832. And that's it. This was simply amazing. Lastly, let's add 768 and 207. Round this to 770 and put a minus 2 here. Then round this to 200 and put plus 7 here. Now add both of them to make it 970. Now look here. It will become plus 7 minus 2 equals plus 5. So add a 5 here, which makes it 975, and we are done. That was super fast. Now can you quickly tell me in the comments, what will be the sum of these two numbers? Cool. Ready for the next trick? Trick number three, the percentage trick. You go out to eat in a restaurant, you get a bill after you are done eating, but you can't calculate the tip in your head, right? Therefore, you need this next technique where you simply need to know this percentage trick. X percentage of Y is the same thing as Y percentage of X. This always holds true, no matter what. So, instead of calculating a 16% tip on a $75 bill, you can simply switch the numbers. To get this as 75% of 16, which is equal to 3 by 4 times of 16, or 12 as 75% is the same as 3 quarters. So the tip will be $12. By the way, I have made a video on the same in great detail, and if you are interested, 
then check out the link in the description. Now quickly tell me in the comments, what will be the value of 148% of 25? Next trick on our list is trick number 4, which is tables of 7, 8, and 9. Memorizing multiplication tables can seem like a big mountain to climb, right? But for all of these three tables, we have a fun pattern that's easy to spot. First, consider the table of 7. Make a 3 cross 3 table like this. Then write numbers from 1 to 9 like this. We will write 0, then 1, and then 2 like this. Now in the second row, write 2, 3, and 4 like this. Finally, in the third row, write 4, 5, and 6 like this, and we are done. This is the table of 7, which is written in a 3 cross 3 table using this easy trick. And obviously, 7 times 10 is 70. Next, let's take the table of 8. First, make a line around 8 times 5 like this. Then write 0, 1, then 2, then 3, and then 4 like this. Now after this line, repeat this 4, and then write 5, then 6, 7, and 8. Now, at the units place, start from 8, then write 6, then 4, then 2, and then 0. These are what type of numbers? Yes, you are right. They are even numbers. Now repeat the same pattern from here like 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0, and we are done. This was so easy to follow, right? And finally, the table of 9. 9 feels like a big number, but here's the secret. If you observe it closely, the digit at the unit's place, or this last digit, increases by 1 and the tens digit decreases by one as you move through the multiples. Look at the last digits of all these numbers. Numbers are nine, then eight, then seven, then six, and so on till we reach zero. Also at the tens digit, we get zero, one, then two, then three, and so on till we get nine. Isn't this simply amazing? This simple back-and-forth pattern can make memorizing the table of 9 easier. Now the last trick for this video, or the trick number 5, is multiplying any two-digit numbers up to 100. Consider the number 32 times 31. First, we multiply the first digit of both these numbers. We get 9. Now leave one blank space. Then multiply the last two digits of these two numbers. We get 2, right? Now multiply these two numbers, the first and the last, which is 3, and then these two numbers, last and first digit, which is 6, and then add both of them to get 3 plus 6, or 9, and put it here. We get our answer as 992. See, this was lightning fast. Now, consider this multiplication, 54 times 42. 5 times 4 is 20. Then leave a blank space here, and then write 4 times 2, which is 8. Now in order to fill the blank space, multiply first with the last digit, or 5 times 2 to make it 10, and then the last and the first digit to make it 4 times 4, or 16. Their sum is 10 plus 16, or 26. So write 6 here, and carry 2 here. Then add 2 with this 20 to make it 22, and we are done. The answer is 2268. Faster than flash, isn't it? Now, consider this final example, say, 87 times 46. We will try to solve it super fast. 8 times 4 is 32. Then put a blank space. Then 7 times 6 is 42. So write 2 here and carry 4. Now 8 times 6 is 48 and 7 times 4 is 28, and their sum is 76. And then add this 4 to 76 to make it 80. Write 0 here and carry 8. Finally, add this 8 to 32 to make it 40, and that's it. Our final answer is 4002. That was simply amazing. Now, can you quickly tell me in 7 seconds what will be the value of 46 times 68?
Let me know in the comments. You are already doing calculations faster than a human calculator, but don't forget to practice them. Otherwise, you will forget what you have learned. If I get only 30,000 likes in this video, then I will make part 3 of it, which will be super interesting with lots of fun. So...